Hey guys, Gina here. Do I have a treat for you today? I thought it would be so much fun if I grabbed some of my Halloween boxes not knowing what's inside and we can kind of unbox together and then maybe we could do a little bit of decorating or at least <laughs> put it on a shelf somewhere. But you guys, this box I do know what's inside of, kind of. This is the box with all of my true vintage antique Halloween stuff in it, like paper mache pumpkins and other awesome things. And a lot of this stuff is new. Most of the stuff came from an estate sale that I went to back in January of this year. And I kept it out for maybe a week or two and then I packed it up. So this is gonna be like seeing it for the first time again. And I'm super excited because I've been wanting to pull this box out forever and ever. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy what's inside. All right, here we go. All right, I see some green paper, but nothing's in it. Oh no. What is in here? Oh my goodness, you guys. Yes. It's a teeny tiny little German made pumpkin pail. And this is made out of paper mache and it's still got its little handle. Bottom is all stapled in there. This is so great, you guys. This is probably close to a hundred years old. Something over here is calling my name. Let's see what this is. Oh yes, okay, so the estate sale that I went to, this is what drew me to it. I had no idea there was going to be paper mache pumpkins there. And it's crazy because I've never seen a paper mache pumpkin at a yard sale, at an estate sale, and rarely, if ever, have I ever seen one come up online in my area on Craigslist or Marketplace. So the fact that this home had a couple of them and old vintage Halloween stuff, it just blew my mind. And I was so glad that I went. And I was number three that day, so I definitely got my pick. But there's a bunch of spun cotton. Now, these are like cupcake picks or just little things that you can stick in there. But these are made from Japan. And they're really old. And we have this guy on a little broom. And then this witch. And it's even got a price tag on it. This is not from the state sale. So this says $8 on it. So whoever bought them back in the day bought this one for $8 alone. Here's a little kitty cat. We've got a little pumpkin. Another skull, a little crossbones right here, if you can see. I love the little pumpkins. Here's a witch. I should have been digging for more paper mache pumpkins instead of looking for these guys, but I didn't know they had paper mache pumpkins at this point. So this was the vintage Halloween I was going for, but yeah, I should have been looking for paper mache pumpkins because again, they gave us a time limit of 15 minutes and this one, they were strict to it. So <laughs> I was sweating, I was nervous, I was anxious. And then when I saw that they had paper mache, then I was like, oh no, 15 minutes. And then the ladies, of course, like five more minutes and you're like, oh, oh my gosh. Anyway, here's this guy. And I think we've got one more of those. This little guy, and he's got some kind of a netting on him. But I thought it was cool because they were all different. So that was really neat to find. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot I got these. So these are little Denison Halloween cutouts for ice cakes, puddings, 12 assorted fortunes. And of course they're not all in there, but here's a little cat made in Japan. But this is what comes in it. So let's see how many of these we have. Looks like there's four or five of them in this box. But these are the little picks. And each one of them has a little fortune. How cool are those? I completely forgot I grabbed those. This is gonna be so much fun to decorate with. Something teeny tiny in this box. Oh my gosh, yes. Teeny tiny little cat seals, let's see. And this is from the Denison Company too. So 
So, voila! There goes that one, but let's see if I can show you that. And that's priced $8 on the back as well. Those are really old. I have no idea what this is. Oh, <laughs> it's an old Libby's pumpkin pie can. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? 70s, early 80s? It does have a barcode, but I don't re even remember where I picked this up. This must have had nuts and bolts in it and then I probably set it aside from a yard sale or a garage sale and then <laughs> picked that up. That's really funny. That's gonna be fun to put some stuff out of. All right, what is next? What is next? Ooh, let's see, anything in here? Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Here is a teeny tiny little pumpkin pail again with this little wire. A little bottom there. You can see the paper mache pulp inside. I don't know if this is German made or from the USA. I'm not sure, but it's definitely old. Something's in here. I have a feeling it's another little pumpkin. <gasps> this one is a kitty cat. I love the cat so much, as you can see inside there. His little ears. <laughs> That's so great. Here is a bag of something. Oh, yes. Okay. So last year on Marketplace, a lady had listed four of these and these were in a really excellent condition and they all had their inserts. Only two of them didn't have their original handles with them. I was hoping to trade with people. Only one person wrote me and I didn't really care for the quality of the one that they offered, so I passed on it. So I ended up selling the other ones on eBay and I'm kind of bummed now because with the price of everything, I probably should have held on to them and maybe this year tried trading with somebody else again. But I do have this one and it is just in fantastic shape. Oh my gosh, yes, you guys. This was also from that estate sale that I had 15 minutes and not enough arms, <laughs> not enough eyes. But I was definitely glad to get this one. Anybody else love owls? Check out this paper mache owl, you guys. Is this not gorgeous? This is so cool. I love all of the detail and the paint. You can see on the inside. But this was a fun find. I grabbed this, I think, before I saw the pumpkin pails because I think they had this up on the mantle for display. So I grabbed that. But <laughs> when I started seeing little pails everywhere, then I was like, oh gosh, the hunt is on. But I got that. Let's see what's in here. Okay, you guys, before I show you, I think this is a rarity because I have never seen another one posted on any of the places that I look for vintage Halloween stuff, whether from other collectors or random sites like Pinterest where people have posted their collections or eBay or anything like that. If you guys have seen something like this before, please let me know. This is a German made cat. Can you guys see the little ears? I've never seen one from a German mate before. I have seen cat paper mache pumpkins, but I've never seen one like this before. So I think this one is kind of a rarity, but I love this one so much. It is missing its little handle wire and it does have a little candle wax inside there. As you can see on the bottom, it's stamped Germany. That's one way of knowing if your pumpkins are old or not, is it will be stamped Germany, or the bottom of it should have two indent rings in it. 
and that's a sure sign of it being these ones over here they don't but i know that they are older what's this little lady doing in here <laughs> this i got from the same estate sale and i think it's just a little hallmark um witch yeah hallmark doesn't say what year it is but i think she's a little bit older and i don't think it's as old as the lady thought it was <laughs> when she was gonna go charge me i was like I don't know, Hallmark, it can't be that, that old. So I think she was thinking this was like from the 40s or something. I was like, no, I don't think so. I think it's from the 70s or 80s. Thank goodness for little tags on the back, right? <laughs> oh, you guys, this is another good one. Check out this little pumpkin with the little bow. Adorable. You guys, I'm telling you, these were all from the same estate sale because I have never found these just from a garage sale. I have seen one, one time at an antique mall here in Ventura County, but that was the only time and that was around Halloween. It's just really hard to find them over here in Southern California. I'm sure people who have them, they pass them on, you know, through the generations, but people don't let go of stuff like this very often. There was so much stuff in that house. It was another hoarder house, but everything in that house, I don't think there was anything new past the 70s. Everything was older. So it was really fun to look at. They had Victorian Christmas, you guys. I mean, you wanna talk about old Christmas stuff. It was beautiful. They had a Christmas tree that was made from feathers. That went like so fast that was like someone walked in the door and it was sold i don't even think they asked the price they were just like i want that it was it was really cool you guys but check that out very cool pumpkin what's in here oh yeah this was a. Uh, this I did not find at the estate sale. This was an online purchase because they only offered, they only sold it for $25 and then free shipping. And so I was like, how can I not buy that pumpkin? So he's a little rough, but you know what? I kind of like the patina on him because I think it goes really well because if he was like super bright orange without any of the chips and cracks, I don't think he would look real. But I do like it. And that's the bottom, the rings I was talking about. This is a sure fire way to know, like, yes, this is legit old school pumpkin. Sometimes they will have this flat, but most of the time it'll have those rings on it. So if it doesn't, chances are it's gonna be a reproduction. This is the biggest pumpkin I have. And probably one of the oldest. But this also came, look at this guy's face. Oh my gosh, what an attitude. <laughs> but I don't know, for 100 years old, he's looking pretty good. Here's the bottom again. See how it's pressed? These are just so neat. This next thing that I'm gonna show you guys was I don't know, as a, as a vintage Halloween collector, these are kind of some of the hard pieces to come by. Yes, you can buy paper mache pumpkins if you wanna shell out the money or if you wanna wait for it, but there are certain things that I think are a little bit harder to come by, and this is one of those things. This one is special, and it's not because it's a pail, it's something different, paper mache. Guys, it's the little pumpkin man. Oh my goodness, isn't that just the best? Oh, I love it so, so much. His poor little face got a little bit munched, but man, oh, this is so awesome. And this goes for a pretty penny online. If you've ever watched any of these auctions, these can go for quite a bit of money. So he will be staying with me in my collection for many, 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 many years. <laughs> and I'll probably be one of those people to pass it down to my kids and hopefully he will have an appreciation for it. But yeah, this, this is probably one of those holy grail pieces. This and the cat. These, 
you don't see very often. I have seen these, I have not seen these. Well, you guys, what did you think of the old school Halloween stuff? That was very vintage. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun showing you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my cabinet for now and uh, start putting those things in there because I wanna kinda keep them up and out of the way from little fingers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so let's go take this over there and we'll start setting up one of the, uh, the shelves. So this is a cabinet that if you guys have seen some of my past videos that I love to decorate for the holidays and I think my paper mache stuff is going to look really good inside of it this year. I've always been envious of all those collectors who have all of the like knickknacks and stuff inside and they just jam pack it full of vintage goodness. So this year is going to be my year. Woohoo! <laughs> so let's get putting some of the stuff in there. I guess we'll start with the owl, right? Let's see, where's he gonna fit? Ooh. Ah, he will fit up here. Put him right there. He can be peeking around the corner. Mr. Pumpkin Man. He needs to be kind of front and center. What do you guys think? Put all the good stuff on one side now. <laughs> I'll mix it up. <laughs> Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Perfect here. <laughs> His eyes are all here. <laughs> Let's see if I can gently fix that a little bit. Gosh, you have to be so delicate with these, don't you? His eyes are gonna stay kooky right now. <laughs> Mr. Neon. My little cutie. right <laughs> well that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys enjoy this vintage Halloween unboxing decoration video I will have more of these videos coming out so make sure that you are subscribed and also click that notification bell so it will notify you when the next ones come out I hope you all are having a great day and we will see you next time